In this video, we'll look at the steps you need to take to create a blueprint of the example floor plan we've been working on. So to be ready for this, you will need to have completed the previous assignment that led you to this point here. All right, so we have our floor plan practice open. You're going to go to File, New Drawing, From Design. That, create, that opens up the Create Drawing menu here. And we're going to go to the template. And you're not going to go from scratch. You're going to go title block A inches. Now, if that doesn't pop up for you, you'll go to Browse. And you may have to click away from your project and then back into it and then look for your drawing templates folder. And you should have it in there. But so I'm going to pick that one. So title block A inches. <clears throat> I'm going to hit OK. Takes a minute for it to think. All right. So it looks like mine is. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So you'll see you have a front view. We don't want front view. So we're going to go to the orientation and drop down to top view. better and that's too small so let's go to scale and let's try one to one uh, to 75 so one colon 75 that looks pretty good and kind of center it on your paper and drop it all right hit okay so there's your floor plan now we want to go to document settings and change it to feet. So you hover over this and go to the gear and change our units. So here's the units. You're going to open up that drop down. And we don't want inches, we want feet. Hit OK. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to put some dimensions on this, and we're going to put some text to label the rooms. So go to the dimension tool and pick your largest dimensions first. So there's that one, and give yourself some space. Click. All right, 50 feet. Then you do your next largest dimension. Can do 12 feet. And you can do the window. Three feet. And then we can do This room, 36 and a half. And you can do this window. So noticing that my largest dimension is the furthest one out, and then the next ones come in, and the smallest ones are the closest to the wall, so that none of our dimension lines overlap. So you try to make your dimensions look neat and put them on the outside of the building if you can. <clears throat> now, of course, some of them you can't put on the inside, like on the outside, I mean, um, like this window here is going to be in this room. So you're going to dimension your rooms. And we don't have to dimension this wall because we did it out there. Go ahead and dimension 
all your openings. All right, so you're going to go around and dimension this thing. And then the other thing you need to do is label the rooms. So you're going to use the text tool and hit text. You're going to drag a text box. And we're going to type, say bed. slow bed one and we can change the height so point one two is kind of small let's try point three what does that look like oh shoot I messed up here let me try that again delete that <clears throat> we're gonna Drag a text box, and you can write bed one, and then you have to select the text if you want to change the size of it. So, whoops, select it, and then change the size, and 0.3, looks pretty good. And you can, I think you can move it around. Bed one. Uh, let's just say this is the kitchen area. Select it. Change that to, what if we go 0.5? So go ahead and label all the rooms, dimension all the rooms, dimension your openings. When you're done with that, we'll just save it. Floor plan practice drawing. And you'll have it. What's nice here is you've got your custom title block down here. And um, we'll turn this screenshot of this in to the assignment. All right, good luck.